All right, we're back with the cast right here, Liam, Miley, and Nicholas Sparks, answering some of these questions that uh, we've gotten from uh, the internet. Here we go. Let's, let's go ahead and start it off right here, and then we're going to get some questions from the fans as well. Uh, to Miley, what was your reaction when you were told that Nicholas Sparks wanted to write a book with you in mind, as well as the movie? Um, the story has been changed a little bit. Basically what happened was I had said, you know, uh, Walk to Remember and The Notebook was one of my favorites and, uh, it had gotten, you know, word. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, she really likes it. Let's try to get Nicholas. So I had heard that he was, you know, interested in maybe writing something for me. And, um, I thought that was really cool because, you know, it was something that was my first thing besides Hannah Montana. So that someone, uh, you know, that's worked with so many good actors would want to put me in a film and, uh, give me new challenges was really cool and inspired me to want to do a better job and that everyone trusts me to take on the role. Did you feel like you'd grown as a person and, uh, you know, coming from little Miley to now you're like adult Miley, you know, did, did yeah. it change your life? I started uh, Hannah Montana when I was 11. That's when I first auditioned. And then um, it, it's kind of crazy just, you know, the way that the show, I've been doing the show for, you know, five years. So it's a certain rhythm, you know, in, in all our episodes. And um, so to change that completely um, was was cool. It was a new challenge. And um, it was great to work with people that uh, wanted to help me and... Um, it was just super inspiring to be with people that love what they do. Uh, this one goes to Liam uh, from Bonnie on the Internet. How has your life changed since filming the last song? Um, <laughs> I now drive around Hollywood and see my face on buildings, which is kind of odd. That's probably the biggest thing that's changed. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't gotten stopped yet. As soon as the movie releases March 31st, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe. When, I, when we turned up to the premiere, there were signs that said Liam is sexy all over the place. And there was not one Miley is sexy or Miley is hot oh. out there. I will admit I was a bit offended. For like, I was like, I stepped out of the car and I was like, oh my God, it's Liam. I was like, oh, dang it. <laughs> and let it begin. So it was, it was kind of weird seeing no sparkly signs with my name on it this time. It's okay. Nicholas Sparks, I held the sign that said Nicholas Sparks is sexy. I did too. Isn't that weird? See, yeah, right? You got, you got some. This one goes to Nicholas from Sana P on the internet. I've read all your books, and you're such an inspiration for so many people. Who or what inspired you to become an author? I had a midlife crisis at 28, pretty much. And, uh, you know, I was, I was happy. I was selling pharmaceuticals, but uh, I, I kind of felt like I wanted to chase a dream. And I had written a couple of things earlier in my life that went nowhere, had no success. But uh, I just decided to give it a real shot. And... Uh, the novel that came out at that point in time was The Notebook. So since then, here I kept going, I guess. Congratulations on all your success. I got Juliana here. Um, what is your question? Um, Miley, what was your favorite part about shooting the movie? Um, it was a really uh, great location. That was uh, really awesome to be in somewhere that's so beautiful. It was a little hot. I uh, watched the movie last night, and the humidity did take part on my hair sometimes. So I look back and wish that was maybe a little bit different. But um, I just thought it was such a pretty place. And, and not many people get sent off for, you know, two and a half months to somewhere as great as that. You know, you never know where you'll be. So it was it was beautiful. And at first when they told me it was going to be in Georgia, I was like, uh-oh. I don't know. I've never been there. Like, I've never really spent a lot of time in Tybee. But it was awesome, and it was, it was really a, a cool, serene place. Thanks, Juliana. All right, to Miley, coming from MSN.com, here we go. What actor or performer would you most want to collaborate with that you haven't already? Um, well, I've kind of collabed with them because they're on my show, but uh, my Aunt Dolly Parton is, is probably my, uh, my biggest inspiration. So anytime I get to sing with her, I think that's what I love the most, just because she's been doing this for so long and she still loves it so much. That's so awesome. Um, Liam. The book really, really moved me. This comes from Jessica, MSN.com. What was your first reaction when you read the script? Um, it's, it's an emotional script. I was, you know, I was touched by it. And I think, uh, I think in all Nicholas's stories, he has a very, very strong way of doing that. Um, you know, it's why his stuff, his stuff does so well. It's because people relate to it. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of things in there that I related to. So. Uh, this comes from Megan. MSN.com as well. I love that so many of your novels, Nicholas, take place in beautiful locations in the southeastern U.S. What about the region keeps? What, what about the re, that region keeps you drawing you as an author to use it as as the setting in your novels? Probably 
mainly because I live there and uh. I don't have to research too much. You know, I know where the stores are and the rivers, and I, I don't ever have to look anything up. At the same time, it's a it's a very nice region of the country. Not a lot of people write about it, and it's still an area that that's really dominated by small towns. And small towns, uh, and anyone who's lived there, they're different than big cities. You know, there's a there, there's a real sense of community, and you tend to know everybody there. I think Nat, Miley would say the same thing about Nashville. There's a small town feel to the place. And, you know, it, it, it's, it makes for great stories, I guess. And, and they look beautiful on film. Yeah, well, that too. See, <laughs> I got Jasmine Rosales here. Uh, what's your question? Uh, my question is, in what ways do you relate to your character in the movie, Miley? Um, probably, um, I think the main thing is she... Um, the thing that she hates the most, I think, is just people that aren't genuine and, and are honest with her. And that's um, kind of, I think, the way she sees a lot of people around her, even even Will. She's like, he's got everything. There's nothing genuine. And, and as she gets to know him, she sees that his heart is more open and um, he, he is more uh, of a genuine person. So I think that's kind of what I look for in, in friends and even my family. We're all just very honest and uh, very genuine people, and that's what she looks for, too. I got a question from Miley here uh, from MSN.com. Did you have to learn how to play the piano for the movie? If so, was it hard? And also, do you write a lot of your own songs on the guitar, piano? How do you do it? I did. I had to learn how to play the piano. And um, it was it was kind of easy because I, I play guitar and I could, could read music. Um, but the funniest thing is I think Julianne's favorite story is that I came in. Is that what you're going to say? I came into work and I was like, I'm so tired. And she's like, why? I was like, I've been working so hard. It's taken me a whole two days to learn how to do this song. She's like, all right, two days. That usually would take someone like two months. So it just came easy because I could already read music. But the hardest thing is, is um, Adam Shankman gets on to me about my posture. So that was the hardest thing is I wasn't, I was sitting like this playing the piano when it was supposed to be, she was going to be accepted to Juilliard. So it was sit up and keep your wrist right. And it was just looking the part as much as playing. I mean, you, you you did it real well on the film, Thank so you. You some know, of it's not me. I'm taking all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, not taking all of it. <laughs> when it's not my face and its hands, I'm, I'm not going to take that. But Nicholas, you wanted you wanted to chime in real quick. Yeah, I mean, she's a musical musical prodigy. I mean, it's really fun to see people who are excellent at at anything, whether it's surfing or or whether it's music, and you and you just it's it's amazing for me to watch. Because I know I could never do that. And it's always inspiring when, when you see people do anything great, whether it's, it's like I said, music or, or, or surfing or, or writing, I guess. That's great. Liam, what was your favorite part about making the movie? Um, I got to shoot with a lot of great actors. Milo was one of them. Obviously. Um, no, I mean, every day was, was awesome. I got to shoot with Miley pretty much every day, and we, we had a lot of fun. It was you know, jokes and stuff and, and, and good fun. And we got to shoot on the beach every day, which is great. I'm from the beach, so it was a good shoot. I mean, we, you know, everyone from the cast to the crew was awesome. The whole crew would, you know, come up to me every day and would be like, it's, it's, it's like a holiday shooting on this thing. And, and no one wanted it to end, so good shoot. And you guys had some uh, chemistry on screen Not there. <laughs> and Not uh, at all. How many times did, uh, did, did the director and Nicholas make you guys redo those scenes you know which ones i'm the talking about scenes? yes i the actually scenes. paid the director to uh let me do it a few times no um <laughs> uh we we actually well the main kissing scene the big uh well actually one of the kissing scenes it was on the very first day a lot of day. kissing in this film yeah i watched it last night i looked at it i was like kissing. we like make out this whole film so there's really we're not that deep but no um no but the the one Big main kissing scene took like three days because the sun had to be in a certain place for a certain effect. So I wasn't complaining, but yeah. that's that was kind of interesting for that like five seconds to take three days. <laughs> and how did you got? How did you guys make the uh, the turtles? You know, a lot of people haven't seen the film yet, but you guys will March thirty first. But the little sea turtles were so cute in the movie. You got timed it so perfectly. I know it was amazing. They um they actually we set them free in real life too and and you learn in the film that a lot of them wouldn't survive without that and couldn't make it to the water by themselves. So it was really cool like at the end of the day that we did that scene, we got to release them into the water and it was it was really cool. Yeah, it was magical. Nicholas, what's your favorite part of the last song? Yeah, I, in the end I 
I, I kind of look at it as, as the way the entire story came together through the images, through the performances, through the chemistry, through just the care, the cinematography, the set, everything. What I look for in a film is, is just whether or not I liked it, whether or not I enjoyed it, whether or not I th thought it really captured the story. And I couldn't be any happier with this. You know, I had the, the good fortune to work with great people.